What's up, everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, it's time for an update. So let's get to the tank and see what's going on. Okay, so this week we're going to start in the left side of the tank. As you can see, the Zoa Garden is progressing and getting quite large. Um, the rosters are doing fairly well. They haven't increased in size, but they are opening every day and healthy. The Sunny Delights are filling up and they're getting more polyps every day, as well as the cat size, as you can see over here. The Fiji Fire, again, they're not increasing in size, but they are healthy and doing quite well. The only thing with the Zoa Garden is right here, and also right here, I am getting some Zoas that aren't opening. There's something irritating them or a condition that may be wrong in the tank, and only testing will um, let us know what's going on with that. Right here, these are the biggest uh, I, I, these are the biggest pallies that I've, I've seen in quite some time they're a lot bigger than the utter chaos as you can see here and I'll zoom out to kind of catch them in frame but they are quite large uh, the eagle eyes are doing well as well as these here I took them off of this spot to give this area a little room to spread out and grow. The purple candy canes in the back are doing quite well. An update is that I moved both frags of the Hollywood Stunner to the, to the uh, overflow tower. My hope is that it will fill out and chalice up and fill out this whole area. The purple and red Digi are doing well as usual. Moving over to the center of the tank, as soon as the fox face gets out of the way, the red digi is doing well. I was able to move it all to one rock. So, and as you can see, I moved the one frag from the lower center to this spot here. I'm hoping to fill this rock out with all the, uh, the red Satosa. The Jason Fox, Barney Coral is doing quite well. I'm very happy about this because this basically tells me that my tank is well enough to support acros. And my intention is maybe to get a few more frags of acros to throw in the tank and grow them out. The Purple Cat's Port really loves this section. And that's where it's gonna be staying from now on. You can see it's encrusting and the polyps are extending out onto the rock as it was in the last episode but it's really, the polyps have come out more and more uh, than ever before. And it's showing that it's really happy in this space. The Favias are doing quite well, as well as the Christmas Eve or night before Christmas Favia, as we call it. Uh, it's starting to expand the pink mushrooms and this green unknown coral are still doing well. Now right here, I'm going to show you some two new pieces and uh, explain to you what's going on with them. But first, the uh, Acans are doing well. This one is not putting out any more polyps, but the polyps that are on it are expanding and growing quite big. And the orange one over here is putting out more polyps and just filling out. Now this piece is a red and green blasto and as you can see it is showing some signs of stress as well as this small scoli over here now what my intentions with these are I saw these in a frag tank and I just want to try and bring them back to color and see what kind of pieces they turn out to be so this is kind of an experiment since they've been in my tank you can see right here in the center of your screen, that's another small 
uh, polyp that comes out, as well as on the blasto underneath the edge of this one is another small polyp. So hope they are growing and they are taking in food, but I just want them to color up and see um, what their true colors will be. The green Montipora and crusty Montipora is doing quite well as well as uh, this is another addition. This is a rainbow clove. Um, it's quite stunning when it's under the blue light because it has a green mouth and the arms are um, the center shaft of those leaves are orange, bright neon orange. As you can just about make out, let's see if I can get this to focus. No, it's not going to focus, but that one shows it even better. This encrusting coral from Billy Pipes uh, is starting to get a little darker around the edges and it's just starting to sprout out these yellow eyes. You can see they look like little slits in the coral. So that's quite interesting how that coral is starting to develop these little yellow eyes on it. The red Montipora is growing and uh, increasing in size every day. So I can't wait to see how that's going to fill out this whole top section. The two pieces of frog spawn in here are doing quite well in thickening up. What my intention is to do is to take this one and remove it from the plug finally because it likes this area and glue it down to the rock. The hammers are split into two heads and its colors are really, really vivid and it's going to be staying here because it really likes this area as well. The pagoda coral is not doing so hot. Um, again, it's holding its own, but I, I don't hold out hope for this coral at all. Uh, so right now it's serving as a place for this small little fungia plate to grow. And this is the most, I mean, besides a bubble tip and enemy, this coral has gone from the middle of this skeleton to the end where it seems to like it. And uh, it's coloring up, it's mostly green and has a darker green ring around the edge. And the tentacles uh, have purple tips on them, so it's quite a stunning piece and I want to see how it grows out. The um, ultra neon green frog spawn is filling out more and more and sprouting new heads and it's pretty soon it'll be thick enough for me to frag out again. And uh, it's my, again, my, one of my most successful pieces. The rainbow bubble tip and enemy is hanging in. It's trying to find a spot that it likes really well and it seems like right now that's this spot. It's still eating, but it's just not growing and uh, it's just basically staying the same every, from week to week. Now. This section right here, this green and purple torch has really filled out and is stretching higher and higher. But this monster that I have, as you can see, it has tentacles that are now about seven or eight inches and almost stretching to the surface of the, the water of the tank. There you can see one right there. But I really, really love this coral. Um, every day it gets thicker and thicker. The, the tentacles come out further and further and it's not bothering the torch next to it as you can see not stinging it at all and it's still a ways away from any of the other corals so I like its position there I do have it on this piece of tonga branch so in case it does stretch out and stop bothering any of its neighbors I can move it rather quickly as long as I keep it on the top of um, the rock work now as far as the fish are concerned you can see that the the clouds are doing quite well. My hippo tang is starting to grow a lot more now, as well as all the fish in my system. There goes the yellow tang in for the shrimp to give it a nice good cleaning. Uh, the mollies are getting really big, and so far the aggression is, is basically held into them. Uh, every once in a while the blue powder blue will go after the fox face, but it's not really that much. He's getting bigger and bigger. And the fox face is getting more, that center line is more and more uh, prominent, so he's showing his age. But as far as the system's concerned, everything's do going well, and everything's doing really great. So 
that's pretty much on an update um, for this week. Um, and we'll be back uh, later on in the week with another episode, probably a product review or um, something of that nature. So as always, this is Scott and I'll see you around the reef tank.